I'm pleased to officially announce a federal investment of over $1.6 million that will create, has created 34 housing units for individuals, for families, and for seniors as they pay affordable rent. This announcement represents the addition of 34 new units at this building in Milton, an affordable space for a few to call home. Still, for those who need the help, the wait list is long. There's a waiting list for at least two or three years for the average individual or family. And I'm well aware, and sometimes I have to get involved in, it, in an attempt to move someone ahead of the queue. And I really don't like doing that, but on the odd circumstance, that has to be done. Because as an example, if there's a family that's out on the street, they got to be put into uh, social housing. Regionally, about 4,000 people are waiting for an affordable place to call home, according to the COO of Halton Community Housing. In trying to meet that need, Halton operates about 2,300 affordable units on its own and partners with others for almost 3,000 more. The 34 apartments in this building are one of those partnerships. 13 units are uh, going to be available at 80% of average market rent uh, for folks with no subsidy. But Halton Region has come to the table with rent subsidies for 21 additional units, which will deepen the rents to make housing affordability uh, an option for uh, individuals, Halton residents on low middle incomes. That was the situation for Milton MP Adam Van Coverden and his family when he was growing up. They were able to find a home at the Chautauqua Co-op in what's called non-market housing. Housing here at 70 Ontario Street and housing at Chautauqua Co-op, it's not rented and it's never sold. It's, uh, there's something called a housing charge. And the housing charge can vary based on your income. It can be rent geared to income. It can be subsidized if you qualify for subsidy. Um, but the Chautauqua Co-op in 2017, where I grew up, we also paid off our mortgage. So not, being, not having that, uh, that burden of a mortgage provides that, that uh, organization the ability to provide really low cost housing solutions to Canadians. It's this kind of model and generally new approaches to housing the Provincial Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing sees as a way forward. The day of the, the old shelter system I think is coming to an end that we need to have uh, other housing opportunities, more supportive housing, more transitional housing and, and, and it's having that stable, safe environment but also you need to have a tailor-made program to what in individual needs are and I think this is where we're seeing some real innovation by the by regions like Halton. If you need affordable housing and would like to apply to be on the wait list that can be accessed either by calling 311 or visiting Halton Region's website at halton.ca to find an application. Jason Trout for Halton News in Milton.